Good morning, Rabboisai! Lili Nishma Asimi Mirasi Rusbas Mordechai. Very, very excited. Two things. First of all, we have a tremendous guest, Rabbi Hertz Hasenfeld from Aleichem. Welcome. He's been with us for what, two years, Kimat? Since Chulin. Yeah. Since, well, we started eight minute off in Chulin. The sheer before a little bit. Very nice. He's Mayor's, uh, Mayor Jacobs, my son in law, his uncle. It's a tremendous chus, big time with Chacham. So thank you, thank you for coming. Oh, and he brought us a gift. It's for the for the oil. I should read it now? Here is eight minutes worth of chocolate. <laughs> Hope it lasts that long. Almost as sweet as your shear, because you can't send chocolate over WhatsApp. Yididus Herzi Hasenfeld, Yishkoyach. Today's shear is sponsored by Shlomo Sander, dedicated for the 49th yard side of my father-in-law, Mordechai ben Yosef Alevi, Max Levine, the Neshama should have an Aliyah. I also got word, and I'm not condoning anything, I'm not saying, but there's a tremendous, I spoke about this guy, tremendous, tremendous about Zdaka, Mori is foremost. Rav Shach said he's the Godel Adar in Zdaka. He used to send people to ask him for brachas, and his son was in prison. And he had a life term sentence, and uh, Donald Trump pardoned him today. My shver went to visit him in prison about a month ago, uh, going through a lot of loops. And when he got there, they said, sorry, COVID, go back home. It's a big, very a big um, family friend, and a lot of people, he lived around the corner from me in, in Lincolnwood. So there's a simcha there as well. Um, so we're talking after this year on Zoom, about uh, learning why you do exercise, killing two birds with one stone, so, so to speak. So Rabbi Avram Weisfish from Manchester sent me this picture of him learning. His sits is flying, his, his white shirt, the whole, the whole thing, and the Gemara. So I want to show you how I do it. Maybe someone will get some chizuk. I finished Mesech um, Zavadizar 40 times, mostly because of this. I have a, a lifted stender. No tzitzis, sorry, and a, a lot of light. And this is just to, to no music, no music. It's uh, ear canceling, uh, noise canceling things. All right, what do we have here? Uh, which one should I read? This one was from uh, yesterday's sponsor, Dove Harris. I'll read this one real quickly. Many, many thanks. Okay, I cannot tell you how much I have gained from the Shir. Baruch Hashem, I have strong, daily, wonderful chavrusas. Years since I left Shiva, about 20 years ago. But learning with the rebellion has just taken all my learning to another level. I started learning the daf in the previous cycle. He's trying to say they didn't just start learning. I started learning the daf in the previous cycle, but didn't get further in the beginning of Shabbos. This time I started with even more determination to learn Baruch and Shabbos by myself. As I learned before, but I knew I would need something or someone when it comes to Erevin. I was on a holiday, he's from England, I was on a holiday in the summer, and I clicked the link to watch the Shabbos Seum, and from then on, I decided to watch Rebelli's Daily for Erevin. Bar Hashem, I can learn, but Rebelli brought the challenging Erevin Sugis to real life, and I was generally desperate for the next daf each day. I watched every Erevin Shear, but all via the 8-minute daf app, as live Shear is at 5.15 UK time. And I, anyway, I have a 6 year but when Psachim started, I encourage a number of people here in London to join the Dav and to follow your share. Shout out to Avi Barr, David Goldberg, Jonathan Fisher, to name a few. It's not, not your father's place, right? That's different. London, Manchester, yeah, different. It's all the same by us. England, one Malcolm. And I became a junkie. He became a junkie, desperate to watch live on Zoom, even though it would make me tired. This guy's a lawyer, I think. I now join the Shear on YouTube as a catch-up most days and live on Zoom a couple days each week. It truly feels like a family with MDY. Rabbi Yaakov Schoenberg. Ah, I miss Rabbi Yaakov Schoenberg. Sat right over there, right where you're sitting, Joey Tribriani. Rabbi Yaakov Schoenberg was a former colleague of mine until he moved to Eretz Yisrael. And the other UK guys on the Shear and those from around the world really make it something special. Mark Ashkenazi, Mordechai Ashkenazi, yesterday, nobody said a word to me, but I realized after this year, I kept on saying, he sent Slurpees to this kid and, and, and a chocolate to that kid. Then I realized, he might have not come across 100%, but just two days ago, 
he sponsored a shear for Larry Pearl, that the, the guy that, 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 that had a stroke, Larry Pearl. He's the one that sponsored the shear, the schus or fool. You can't see those chesed. He doesn't, he's not biased. So, uh, at all times of Shemayim, oh, I have thought, I got two emails like this yesterday, unfortunately. I have thought that if I would have had Rebelli as a Magid Shir as a school kid, how special that would have been. They should have brought Rebelli into my learning program, and now I'm very thankful for that. Thank you, Rebelli, and Yose- Yosef, Noam, and all the others on the MDY team. Please don't hesitate to contact me to assist any of you if you ever need. Warmly with gratitude. Dove Harris partner. Shkoyach Dove. So today is Daf Lamed Beis Leiv, and we are holding by the Mishnah on Lamed Aleph Lamed Beis on the bottom. Ha'oichel Trumas Chometz BePesach BeShoigeg. So Truma, person has a crop, he has to give the Koyen even a mash or one, one grain, so let's call it 2%. He gives that truma to the kai. The Pasuk says when it comes to truma of ish, ki yoichal koidish bishgoga, v'yosav chamishosa yolo, v'nosan koin esa koidish. So, if a person eats that truma, Yisrael eats the truma they gave to the kai, by mistake, bishgoga, we already discussed this, can't be bemazed, <clears throat> then, <clears throat> excuse me. Then he has to give the kain kaidish. This word kaidish is very important. It comes to teach us that you cannot give the kain cash. It has to be something payroll says Rashi that could become kaidish. So what happened? So this person, this individual, by mistake ate truma. It happened to be chametz on Pesach. If he did it by mistake, he has to pay what the Torah says. In addition, you have to give him a fifth. We call that a fourth. A fifth, meaning if he ate 100, he gives the Kayin 125. Why do they call it a fifth? Because after you have 125, you take off 25, that's a fifth of the 125. We call it in, in our... In Panovich math, it's called a quarter. Fine. Milabar, Milagav, every sugi is the same. Now, Rashi says over here, and there's a whole sugi coming up. When it comes to truma, do you pay lefi mida or lefi minion? In other words, domin. Sorry, domin. Do you pay based on the monetary value or, the, or based on the volume. So Rashi says, we're going here according to you, you base it on volume. MMA law, you have to pay. Why? What's the difference? Because if you pay by damim, by monetary value, it's chametz on Pesach. Chametz on Pesach, l'choyra has zero value. So it has zero value and you consumed chametz on Pesach, you don't have to pay the kain anything if it goes by monetary value, by dumb. So the mission is going lefimida. We will see, though, that even if you say lefidamim, there might be monetary value. Why? Because we basically like holds this monetary value. This hana. You could, you could burn it. You could make a, a flame. You, can make a, you could light your fire in your oven with it. Next, b'meizid, patim tashlumim, um Now, if all this happened and the guy did it on purpose, now he's just a regular gazlin, so he doesn't have to pay anything. He, the whole reason why you pay when you eat truma is to get a kapara. You get a kapara. That, also you have to pay the, uh, the kain back. But over here, since it's Pesach, and it doesn't have value, and you did it on purpose, what does the Pasuk say? Bishgaga. There's no kapara. You don't get a kapara, so you're not paying. You don't have to pay to get a kapara. Umidmeyatim. Now, if this truma is tummy, so there's no, you don't have to pay for the wood. 
Why? This, this uh, even though it was tummy, it had value. You could, you could heat something up with it. No, you don't pay. Says the Gemara, it's not awesome. We learned in Masechus Truma, so Eichel, Truma, Beshayig, Mishalem, Karen, V'choymish. If a person eats Truma by mistake, he pays, Karen, V'choymish, that's what we just learned. The principal plus 25% or a fifth. Says the Gemara, Echad the Eichel, Vechad HaShoysa, Vechad HaSach. Whether you're eating, whether you're drinking, whether you smear it on your body, says Rashi, Sicha is like drinking, and drinking is like eating. So all three, you're chayev, meaning, but if you do, if you use it and you destroy it, then you're potter. The schiv of chayvish is only when you do these three things. You consume it in a normal fashion, but if you pour it on the floor, in a chayev of chayvish. This is a tremendous simcha. We just finished a full year of shas from the beginning of brachas. <laughs> Little schwach, little schwach. That's because we're missing some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we lost another guy. One of the guys that, that pushed and pushed that I should come, he's out with quarantine. So now, three guys, we started with a small group, three guys are out in quarantine. Unbelievable. All right. You know, in my son's yeshiva, they, one of the rabbim had corona. So they call the whole yeshiva into a room, and they tell the rabbi, say, yeshiva's over. You all have to go into quarantine. The rabbi had COVID, and we'll see you in another two weeks. Then they realize the Rebbe doesn't have corona. So they say, okay, you're not in quarantine. The only problem is that one of the boys in the room had corona, a different boy. So because they brought all the boys into one room to announce an announcement that was fake, everybody had to go home for two weeks. And yeah, and he's, he just got over it now, two weeks. All right, I, I have a feeling I'm gonna be the only one left here, only one standing, three guys down already. Zagta Gemara. So, Echot Truma Tmeya, Echot Truma Tahira. By the way, uh, Reb Herzi, he has antibodies. So if anybody has antibodies, they're welcome to come. Antibodies, or you take the vaccine, come on in. Vechot Asach, but you have to prove it. You can't just say it. Echot Truma Tmeya, Echot Truma Tahira, Mishalim Chaymesh. So if you consume it, you eat it, you drink it, if whether it's tar, tame, doesn't matter, you have to pay the chaymish, the extra 25%, the extra fifth. The chumsha, the chumsha. And what if you already paid the chaymish? You gave the kayin, you, you, did, you ate, you couldn't control yourself, you ate the truma, it was a mistake, you gave the kayin the principal plus the chaymish, and then you go and you eat from that chaymish, that chaymish has a halacha, big chiddush, that, hal, that chaymish has a halacha of truma, and if you eat that chaymish, you have to bring a chaymish on that chaymish. Ibailu. Oh, here comes the sugya. Kishu mishalem, lefi midah mishalem, or lefi dame mishalem. Does he pay by the volume, or does he pay by the monetary value? Now, let's see what we have here. There's another guy down? There's only four guys down in Bidud now. Okay, that's why the song is very shvach. Says the Gemara, Kol When it started out, when he ate it, it was worth four, and today it's worth one. You certainly have to pay like when you ate it, which was four. Lefi damim. The Legora mi Gazlin. So here's the Pasuk. Baal Habari Shalom Kesef Yashiv Libaalov. I think this is the Pasuk. No. This is the Pasuk. Yeah. Vehesh Sari, Vehesh Sakzela Asher Gozol. So this is extra. It's just Vehesh Sakzela. Finished. 
should return whatever you stole. Asher goes out to teach us. I believe that's it. Yes, that's it. So the Ganav has to pay like at the time of the Gneva. So if he stole it when it was four and today it's worth one, it doesn't matter. You have to pay back four. But what if it went up in value? My. We tell him, not the, the, the coin. We tell him, Grieve is whatever measurement. You took a certain amount, pay that amount. Or perhaps it goes by the monetary value, And therefore, he has to pay four zuz worth of fruit. In, in fruit, obviously, but four. Om Rav Yosef. Toshma, ocha gregoros, v'shilim leitmar. So a, greg- a gregeres is a dried fig. I don't have dried figs. Pretend these are dry. Okay. So here are figs. He ate this, and he paid him a date. He ate a fig, paid him a date. Ocha gregoros, v'shilim leitmar, and tava ele bracha. Mamish, he's a great guy. Why? Because he ate this, and this is, doesn't have such value. Look, you see, this, the whole container costs a buck. And this container costs 10. So he's a great guy. Now, if he ate a container and it's worth one, and he paid him back a full container, which is worth 10, makes a lot of sense. That's true. That's true, ma. This, I hear you saying. But, but if he has to pay by volume, so he paid value. It's not really. The Torah says pay back the value. So he paid the value. Now, I hear what you're saying. He's asking that's ribbus. Because he ate something that's worth, that it started out with one, and he paid back something that's worth four. But if you pay by the monetary value, look what happened. He ate this whole thing, and he literally returned one little lousy date. Why? Because this one date is equal in money to this. This one date costs one dollar, and these uh, ten guys cost one dollar. So he paid him one. He didn't pay him a value. He paid him by monetary value. Why? 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 Why does he get a bracha? What's easier to sell? One date or ten figs? One date. Not because it stays. It tastes better. It's kishmak. These, even today, you can get these for free. You go, you walk in the street, you find them in the street. These are, by the way, I told you already. Once I started eating the good ones, the, the, it's much like candy. I never understood the Gemara. Uh, they used to give the kids. They said, uh, I mean, it's candy. You get the good ones, not those dried ones. Mamish dvash. Tastes. Yeah, yeah. The dvash in the Torah is dates. It really tastes like dvash. It's not. In those days, even ten times more. Not What about our Mishnah? It says that if you eat truma, that's chametz. On Pesach, b'shoigig mishalim karen v'chaymesh. If you do it by mistake, you have to pay a karen v'chaymesh. If you have to pay by the volume, so therefore, it doesn't matter how much Shavis it has. What's its monetary value? What's its monetary value on Pesach? Zero. So it doesn't matter that it's a big zero, because if it was a zero, then you pay him back zero. But if you have to pay him by volume, you, have, you took a box, you have to give him back a box. That's how you kapara. So, it has no value. Now, very interesting. I saw a very interesting thing. Let me see if I can remember it. This is Shiloh. How do you base your chametz? Is it based on where you are or where the chametz is? So if you have a bag of pretzels in Eretz Yisrael, and in America it's not Pesach yet, you're over? Could you sell your chametz? Could you wait until it's almost shkia by you to sell your chametz that's in Eretz Yisrael or not? What's the obvious answer? It's a din in the gavra. Oh. So, 
the Chiddush is that L'chayra, it's a din in the Chavtza. It's a din in the Chavtza. It's not in the Gavra. Why? Because this is, they say from over here, you're saying the Chavtza doesn't have any value. Maybe it does have value. Maybe the Kayin is in Eretz Yisrael, and it's already after Yantif, and it's Yantif Shani in America, and all his trum is in America, and it doesn't have value in America, but it has value in Eretz Yisrael. So you see from here, but I think that's La Halacha. La Halacha, that, that's how it is. I mean, think about it, it makes sense. Like, it's where your, it's your chametz, where the chametz is, not where you are. It's the where the chametz is. The chametz is in Eretz Yisrael, you're over. Chametz is it, you're not over. Fine. Uh, interesting, interesting thing. It is yours. It's still yours, but where is the chametz? Hell You hear, Herz is saying that you don't get an Irish for it because you are not in a pace of the Kamatsa. Very interesting. Anyway, if he dies, what happens? He doesn't get an Irish for All right, fine. Says the Gemara. So, what are you telling me? Chomets and Pesach has zero value. Says the Gemara, no. In Hamani Rabbi Saglili, the third cheetah that we had, Rabbi Saglili, the Omar, Chomets and Pesach, Motabahano, it does have a value. What value does it have? Enough value. So, you can take these dates or whatever. You and make a fire out of it. So it goes from one dollar to ten cents. It's not the true value, it's the value of, of wood. You're telling me it's Rabbi Yisaglili, really? So how does it fit into our Mishnah that we just read? Bemezid, if one consumed Truma on purpose, then you're Potter. No. Why are you Potter? He had a no. He has a no from Truma, should pay. What do you mean you're Potter? So that law, Reb Nechuni ben Akono, he holds like Reb Nechuni ben Akono that we had the sign of Reb Nechuni ben Akono. Your oisus yoyim akipurim kishabes l'tashlim kim lebed the rabbi minei. So if a person had he did the meizid the sefer, we're talking about the the sefer. So he did a meizid on truma. He knew it's truma. The shaygig was. Chometz, he didn't know. He didn't know it's Pesach. So then he's Potter. Why? Him the Rabbanu. holds the and he holds that what? That even uh, is even misa b'dei shomayim. Truma is misa b'dei shomayim. If you eat truma, you get misa, but it's not real death. So typically you would think death versus money. If you have two einshim, one is real death in Bezdin, and money. So since you're getting the death penalty, you don't have to pay the ten dollars of the. Death. But here's the Chiddush, that even though he's not really getting the death penalty, he's getting the death penalty really min shamayim, that's also considered death penalty. Alright, and the ratio is talking about two shaygigim. Two shaygigs. He forgot about chametz, he forgot about truma. If anybody wants, you can look in Rashi, Dibar Maskev, Kirebi Nechunim, and Akona, a nice Rashi of why the Gemara talks about chametz and Pesach, not just uh, truma, that's chametz and Pesach, not just plain truma. Okay. Ketanoi. So this idea, this machloikis, do, do, do you pay back truma by volume or by money, is machloikis tanoi. Ha'echel truma has be pesach potu min atashlumim with mei ha'etim. If you eat truma on pesach, chametz, you pot you completely. Dibi Rebbe Kiva. So let's stop for a second. What does that tell us? Rebbe Kiva holds what? If you pot you completely, why are you potter? Because it has no value. Because we go by domim. Rabbi Kiva would hold that we go by volume, then he would say you're chayev. So Rabbi Kiva holds dumb. Rabbi Yochanan Menuri mechayev. And Rabbi Yochanan Menuri says you're chayev completely. Why? Because he doesn't go by dumb, he goes by mida. So a person ate a box full of fruit, he has to pay back the box, regardless of the value. Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Yochanan Menuri. So now they're arguing. Chimah no yeshli. Rabbi is going to say the same sugya. Word for word, in ten lines. It's going to be the same ten lines. Besides the ending. Why does he have to pay anything? He didn't benefit? What another does a person have any time? He eats truma that's completely tome, and the coin can't eat it. Big difference between truma that's tome and truma that's chametz. 
The coin can eat it. He could use it to warm up his oven. If you remember, we just had this chart like two weeks ago. So it should say, that's how it says it in the Pasuk. Yeshem in the Messiahs, but Yeshem in the Mikra, we read it plural. And what do we learn from that? Truma Tahira and Truma Tameya Lecha goes to the Kayan. Even Truma Tameya goes to the Kayan for what? For Asaka. He could heat up his oven. No. So what are you asking me a question from? From Truma Tameya. Now he doesn't answer anything. You see, you notice, there's no answer. He asked him a good question. If, I, if you have truma of berries and grapes, what could you do with a berry and a grape? If you can't eat them, they're worthless. You can't make a fire with it. You can't do anything with it. It's fine. End the story. Checkmate. He asked him a question. He says, oh, you, could, you could benefit... Well, you can't benefit anything from it. You, you, we bring me a ride from Truma to Tmeo. Over there, yes, the coin could benefit. He could light up a fire. But on Pesach, he's, it's also Bahana. He can't even make a fire with it. It's like, it's like a berry. That's the end of the sugi, right? Fine. Now, the b'risa continues. And, and in a second, we're going to just finish off with the b'risa. And we're going to repeat the whole sugi. Plus, an answer to this question. Yes. Same exact thing. That's Hasakan animals is together. We're going to see actually that Lashon in the Gemara in a second. They're identical. That's, that's having an awe from it. Says the Gemara, B'medvar Mamurim. So the Brisa continues. This is all said B'mafresh Truma Vechmitza. When you gave the Truma in, in its proper state, and later on it became Chametz on Pesach. Or let's say you gave it before Pesach, and Pesach came around. You gave it on Pesach, and then it turned into Chametz. Avar Mafresh Truma is Chametz. But if you gave it in a state of chametz, you have to give a nesina that's right. We're going to see tomorrow, Be'ez Hashem. If you give it in a state of, of, of chametz, no good. Because it's Pesach right now. You can't give something that is not edible to the Kayan. Fine. Tanya Yidach. Here we go. We're going to give a rice through this. Yiddish. Yiddish. You should give the truma to the Kayan. It should be Kaydish. Dova royally is Kaydish. It has to be something that could become Kaidish, like we said in the beginning in the Mishnah. That has to be fruit. Prat lo oichel trumas chametz be Pesach, not chametz on Pesach. Shapotem and atashlumim with me him. And if you if you eat it, you potter from paying back. Divrei Rebbe Leizim Yaakov. What does Rebbe Leizim Yaakov hold? Rebbe Oisai that it goes by domim, and it has no monetary value. Don't have to pay anything. Rebbe Lazar over here. My Gemara says chasama. I don't like it. In Yeshiv, I think we used to say chisma. Chisma, how do you guys say? You say chisma. Fine. How do you say it? Chisma. Okay, fine. Chisma. How does Masifta say? As everybody says chisma. Great. So we're going to take my Oiz Vahadr and give a thing. My Chabrusa said it differently, though. Chasama. I don't remember how he said it. Fine. He said in his Yeshiva Chevron, they said it like that. Realize the chisma machayev. So realize the chisma holds that's based on, you learned in Chevron, and that's not how they said it. Huh? Where are you looking? What, what app is that? Okay, fine. Lama Shana. Chisma, chasama, whatever it is. I go by the arch roll. Whatever the arch roll says, they know. They did the research. Chisma, chayv. Oh, my lawyer, Rebelezim Yaakov, the Rebelezim Chisma. Rebelezim Chisma. Bechimano Yishle, boy. So you have the same exact machlis that we have before. Does it go by Domim, and therefore it has no value? You don't have to pay the coin back anything, or does it go by. Volume and you have to pay him back. As Rebbe Lezim Yaakov to Rebbe Chisma, the same exact question. Kimano Yeshli Ba. What monetary value does it have? Amal Rebbe Lezim Chisma, Amal Rebbe Lezim Yaakov, Kimano Yeshli Loicha with Truma Tmei, B'Shayim Moisah Shonis Shemishalim. What about you? During the year, this Truma Tmei, he has to pay. Amal Loi Loi. Im Amar Tmei Truma Tmei, B'Shayim Moisah Shonis Shav B'Shayim Loi Beit Achilo Yeshli Beit Asaka. What's the connection? Truma Tmei, this value. Why? Because you could heat up a fire. So that's where we ended off before. 
And here comes the Gemara, Amar Loi, Af Bezu Yeshloi Beheter Hasaka. Not true. Even on Pesach, you could light your fire. Why? Shemrat Zakoyin, Meritza Lefnei Kalbay Ari Mezenkes, Oy Mesiko Tachas Tavshiloi, or you could make a flame underneath your path. Why? Because we hold like Rabbi Yossi Haglili. They must hold like Rabbi Yossi Haglili that you're, it's Mutter Bahana. And if it's Mutter Bahana on Pesach, so you could have an So why didn't they answer that before? Because they don't know like Rabbi Yossi Haglili. And now that we know that, so we know the next 10 lines in the Sugya. And now we turn to Daf Leiv on the Bays, sponsored by. Our guest? No, I'm just kidding. No sponsor, Baruch Hashem. I mean, I love it. No sponsors. Omar Abayah, Rebbe Liezer ben Yaakov, Rebbe Kiva, Rebbe Yochem, Enuri, Kuz, Firlu, everybody holds Chometz, Bepesach, Osir, Bano. No. Those ben Yaakov, Rebbe Kiva, Rebbe Yochem, everybody holds it, Sos, Bano. Uba Hopligi, the Rebbe Kiva, Sovel, if you don't have a Rebbe Yochem, Enuri, Sovel, if you don't have a So as we were learning the Sogyo, we pointed this out ourselves. That word, Rebbe Kibu says, you don't have to pay anything, yo, if you dumb him. There's no monetary value on Pesach. Why? Because it's also about no. And that's why you don't have to pay anything. Rebbe Kibu says, you don't have to pay anything. The reason why Rebbe Kibu holds that you do have to pay, even though it's also about no, and you're not benefiting any, but it goes by value. And you took a box, pay back a box. Pshita. What's a buy coming to be? Mechadish Bechlau. Says the Gemara about the same Rabbi Yochum and Rabbi Nami Kirbi Kiva Svirle, Doma Lefi Dami Mishalim. Vaz Mana Taim of the Kamachayev, maybe Rabbi Yochum and Nuri is like the terrorists we just said now. Mishum the Sava, like Rabbi Yosai Glee, Doma Chavis Vizam Mutabano. Maybe the reason why Rabbi Yochum and Nuri holds you have, to, you have to pay, not because he switches the Shita from Mida to Domim, but rather because he holds, he switches the Shita to Rabbi Yosai Glee, that Chavis and Pesach is Mutabano. If it's Mutabano, you have to pay back. That he doesn't hold like Rabbi Yisrael Glim. But maybe he does hold like Rabbi Yisrael Glim. Who told you? So why didn't he answer the answer? When we learned the sukkah, he stopped short. He didn't go right there. There's no answer to the question. Only in the second b'risa, they say, oh, he holds like Rabbi Yisrael Glim. Seems like only the second b'risa holds like Rabbi Yisrael Glim. Rabbi does not hold like Rabbi Yisrael Glim. Very, very simple. Yeah? Okay, it's not a right. If the Chevroner gets it, it's not a right. Torah Rabbon. Oich HaGizai is Truma, Mishalem, Kerem, V'choymesh. Oh. If a person eats a Kizai, the question is, what, how much do you need to consume in order to be Chayv? According to, according to the Tanakama, you need to consume a Kizai. Kizai is all of the Torah, all Achilles, Kizai, Kizai, Kizai. So if you eat a Kizai, you have to pay the full Kerem, V'choymesh. Abashalaymer, he comes along now. There has to have monetary value here. It has to be worth a pruta. Now, so this pruta doesn't have Lakhaira a kazayas. It needs to have a pruta. It doesn't have a kazayas. So what kind of fruit are we talking about here? Says Rashi. But like a gazayis, keep going shnaz batzayis. We're talking about in a famine. I found it very interesting. In Rashi's time, how much is a pruta in our days? I think it's a practical, I don't know, I didn't look it up. But back in the day, we were saying it's about three cents. Like ten agurot in Eretz Israel, let's say three cents. 3.3 cents. Right, because it's based on the silver. I don't know where silver is today. So Rashi wouldn't have a problem in our days. You can't get anything for three, three cents. A grape, you know, even a one grape costs... So, a kezayis, a kezayis of fruit costs much more than three cents in our days. Just, just uh, pointing it out. In the time of Rashi, you could get a lot for three cents. And he has to come on and say, Doichak, we're talking about a famine. Fruit is so expensive that a kezayis, kezayis is, is less than a pruta. A kezayis is a pruta, sorry. Kezayis is a pruta. Says the Gemara. Anyway. It says the Loshan Achila. Vachila, because Anytime there's an Achila, Kazais. Kazais, the Chalev, Kazais, this. Everything's Kazais. Babashol, my time, what does he say has to do with monetary value? Oh, my crow, Vinosan. Vein, Nesino, Pochis, Meshove, Pruto. So, 
it comes to the Nesina, to the Kayan, you have to give him something. When you give something to somebody, it has to be a pruta. Asks Taisvis a bomb question. Look at the top Taisvis. We keep on saying this. When it comes to truma, all you need to give the kayan is one kernel. Now, one kernel is less than a pruta. So, and the Torah calls it an asina. You should give the kayan a kernel. So the Torah specifically says it doesn't have to be a pruta. So what are you telling me that, that, that an asina means a pruta? How do you get out of such a question? So I saw one of the Rishonim, I forgot who it was. That the, the, this is the covered you. You said the Chavsa I'm going to say Tzvei Dinim. Tzvei Dinim. There's a Din Hafrosha and there's a Din Asina. When you mafresh from your Kree, when you take off the Truma from your Kree, you, have, you could take off even one kernel. That's fine. But when you give to the Kayan, you have to give an Asina. So take off from your, you're a wealthy guy, you have a big farm. You take off a kernel from here and a fruit from here and a. This, Make sure that when it all combines together and you give it to the koi and you give him a... It's not so schwer to hear. That frosha from the wheat, that's one kernel. But the nesina to the koi and you don't like it. This is a Rishan saying it. I'm not... I, I didn't say it's Tyson. I said I saw one of the Rishan I forgot who it is. I forgot. Somebody. I'll, uh, I don't know if... I, okay. It's in the back. In the back of the Masifta. Huh? That's why it's in Asina. The mitzvah of, let's see if that works. Uh, hold on. No, but we're talking, and, you, and over here that you're taking away from the mitzvah, that, that, that has to be a gazayis. That has to be a pruto. Taking away from the mitzvah, pruto, giving is not. Okay, I hear. I don't know if any of the Rishonim say it. Look at this. I am betaisvis. Fine. So, so we have a machlaikis here. How much of this truma do you have to consume? Is it a, a pruta or a kezayis? And they both learn from the pasuk. Vidach nami oksiv yoichal. So, what's Abishol going to do? It says yoichal. It's achila. Achila is kezayis. Oh, prat lemazagudasa. Did I skip something? It seems like I skipped. No? Oh. So, lemazagudasa. That only for achila, shtia, sicha, these things, then there's no, the, 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 then you have to pay a chaymish. But if a guy is a mazik, he pours it on the floor, he doesn't have to pay the chaymish. It says achila. And achila, in achila, licked, shtia, and sicha. Fine. Betanakamo, hoksiv, vinosan. Chayr Abishol is right. It says it should be in a sina, it should be a shavu pruta. Avarle, le davar, haroi, liyos, kaidesh. It has to be something that could be kadosh, not money, that cannot be, it's only kadoshas, mama, not kadoshas, a goof, and therefore you cannot pay truma, you can't say, oh, I have 10 apples, let me give the kayan a couple of bucks. It doesn't work like that, you have to give him the apples. Torah banan, ha'ichel, truma, pachs mekezayis, mishalim, isakerim, ve'edim mishalim, isakerim, If you eat truma, not on Pesach, eat truma less than a kezayis, you pay the karen and you don't pay the chaymish. Very interesting Allah. In between, you have to pay the principal, but you don't pay the penalty. Why? Because it's less than a kezayis. Hey, chidami. What's the case? Either less of a shav pruta, if it doesn't have the value, the monetary value of a pruta, karen nami le Why is he paying at all? Even a ganav. A ganav that steals less than a pruta doesn't have to pay back. Vidis bo shav pruta, chaymish nami le and if it has the monetary value of a pruta, let him pay the penalty as well. Loilam, this bush of a pruta does have a pruta. If you love it, even less book is Zayis. Mishalim sakaren, the Enoi Mishalim sachoymer says the Gemara unbelievable. It has a value of a pruta, therefore you have to pay back. But it doesn't have a kezayis, and that's why you don't have to pay the choymer. Amru Rabbanon Kamed the Rav Papa, Hadolik Abishol. Abishol says, if it has a pruta, you chayiv. Over here it says, if it has a pruta, you don't, you don't have to pay the chaymish. Right? Abishol says, all you need is the value of a pruta, and then you have to pay the karen al chaymish. And over here we're making a distinction. No, it's in between. You don't pay the chaymish, but you have to pay the karen. Dik Abishol, you have to pay a chaymish. 
Rav Papa, listen to this. Let's try to answer this. Maybe it does go according to Abishol. Abishol tartiboy. Abishol requires a pruta and a kezayis. In other words, Abishol learns both psukim. Dachila and the nasina. You need two things. And the Gemara is going to say, all the way on Omid Aleph, I mean, give him Omid Aleph, like 10 lines down, we're not going to get there today, I don't think, that Rapopo retracted this. That you don't need to. But that's his attempt there. Perhaps, in order to, to figure this thing out, maybe Abishol holds, you need, a, you need to eat, consume a kezayis, and has to have the value of a, of a pruta. As the Gemara, umi boy Abishol tarti vatnan. Abishol oimer, as she yesh boy shav it says in a b'raisa, if it has a pruta like we learned before, then Abishol says the chayra only one thing that you need a pruta. If you don't have a pruta, you don't have to pay. So what are the, what are the time come say then? But the chachamim lo yarum shav pruta elo liinyan miila bilvad aval the truma enoi chayiv achi bekezayis. Chayiv means you, you need. You, you don't need until you have a kezayis. Vemisa asked the Gemara, Kivin chi yesh boi kezayis me boyerle. Achiyah is a chumrah. Now, Chachamim, according to Rapapa Papa, Chachamim and Mekel. Abishol says you need two things. Chachamim say one thing. So Achiyah is a chumrah. I need, I need, I need the kezayis. Kivin chi yesh is a kula, means all I need, kivon chiyesh, all I need is one kezayis. Vimisa, kivon chiyesh ba kezayis me barilei. Abishol said, you need two, they should have said, kivon, since it already has one, that's enough. At chiyeh means I need, I need both. I need a kezayis plus a pruta. Yeah. Kivon chiyesh, one out of the two, that's enough. Chachamim mechulag and Abishol. Abishol says you need two. According to you, Rabbi Papa, you need both things. You need a pruta and a kezayis. So when Chachamim come to argue on him, what should they be saying? They should be saying this lashon. It's not true. All you need, kiv and chiyesh. You need one out of the two. But they didn't say it like that. They said, achiyir, we're more machmer than you. We, we hold that you need, you need a kezayis. You don't hold that. I, we hold that. Says the Gemara of Avra Papa Aderbei. What, what time is it? 7.59. Okay, let's do a minute. We might have to go back on this because it's the one very, very long proof. Avra Papa Aderbei, the Tanya, v'chota b'shgaga prat l'mezid. By mi'ila of Hegdish it says, b'shgaga, prat l'mezid. So if you do it on purpose, you're not chayiv. Says the Gemara, why do you need a pasuk? V'alei dinu. Umar shar mitzvah shechir bem kores, poitim bem is if this chorus, only chorus, poit de bemis amazed, milo, shame ba chorus, and it didn't show poit de amazed. Loim amarto, bisham misa shikin, lichiba misa, tamim milo, shikin, shikin misa. This misa de shamai, not chorus. Tamim loim abish gogo, prad le mazed. Fine, you know what? Let's just. It's a long sugya. We read it. Great. We got close to the end of the page to the Ahmed. We yoyte almost the shitascha. Raboy sai. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Yishkoyach for visiting. Shira Ma'alois. Shira Ma'alois. Ma'am Akim Pasich Adinoi. Adinoi Shema B'Kodit. 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 I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know You want to tell that guy that he's wearing that yamaka, he might not realize. What? Tell the guy drinking over there, he might not realize that he's wearing the yamaka. He's just leaving. No, he's wearing a kid's yamaka, he doesn't realize. He's going to walk out like that, like me, and my thing. Sing the song. What? David Feinberg said you have to wait till the end of this year in order to sing the song. Now it's the end of the.
He's very makbid. He's very medayi. I'm not so medayi. Oh, here he is. Uh, here he is. Party pooper. Shkoyach, thank you, thank you. You do the regular sure, or just eight minutes? Really? Uh oh. So now when I say it, when I say it after, oh yeah, yeah, you just put on the pressure, yeah? One pakasha. A hundred percent. You know how hard I work on it? Ask this guy. Ruvain, when did I give you Lamed Aleph? I gave it to him yesterday. He's, it's a big balagan. He works hard, I work hard. I know, I, re, I know, I know, 100%. 100%. He's complaining. He's one of the four people that watched Amin Adaf. And he says that we're... I have the sugar of Hamas. I have this every year. I talk to a lot of places. I have a factory in China. A factory in China is full of Hamas. And it's yours? You own the Hamas in there? So first, it's, I pay for the food. And right. In China, you have to feed the, the workers. You pay first. It's a big child of data. They come and pay it also. Well, it's your, you literally own the factory? I own the factory. I own the factory. Two buildings are my buildings. Wow. So, when did you give it to me? What time? Are you serious? What a shame. Ugh, okay. We gotta catch uh, the, all these things. I didn't see it. I did see it. I have to catch. I have to give it to you in the morning. You give it to me at a normal.